Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy on Marketing, and today I'm gonna to be doing a review slash demonstration of a tool called PixelMe. Now, PixelMe is a link shortener, tracking, retargeting type of tool, so we're gonna check it out in this video. So here I am on the website, and real quick, they do offer a seven-day free trial, so if you wanna check it out, go over there and check it out. I have a link down below. You can go ahead and come over here. So anyway, it offers link shortening, link retargeting, UTM building, which helps you track your links, where your traffic's coming from, so that way you can track conversions and make sure that you're you know, getting your dollars worth for your marketing efforts and making sure things are paying off properly. So it does a bunch of cool stuff. There's some facts and data right here on the website. You can come over here and check it out for yourself. Uh, there's also a very solid help center. They have a lot of tutorials and helpful information. So if there's something that I don't cover, uh, you can ask me below this video or come over to this help section and you'll probably find the information you're looking for. Uh, but let's go ahead and go into the dashboard together and I'll give you a tour of the tool. So here we are in the dashboard and you can see all of the links that I have created with Pixelme. You can organize them by folders, which is a newer feature. Um, I've had PixelMe for quite a while and they've been adding features constantly. So it's a constantly growing and expanding tool. Like they just added conversions, which is looking to be pretty cool. I just started messing with it and pretty excited about that feature. They needed it and I'm glad to see it's in place now, uh, but we'll get to that in just a second. So here we are, here's all my links. You can see like, the title of the link, the destination, how many clicks it's got, the shortened URL, the pixels associated with that link, and I'll explain what that means in just a second. Tag, so that way you can keep your links organized. And then UTM information, so source, medium, campaign, term. And if you don't know, a UTM parameter is like a tracking parameter that was developed by Google. Uh, Google Analytics uses those parameters and so does Google Ads actually. They use that, those parameters and several other tools now use those parameters since Google's huge and might as well keep some things consistent. But what it lets you do is you insert like custom values. So for example, like source, you might have like Facebook. So if you're sharing a link on Facebook, you'd have the source be Facebook. The medium could be like social. The campaign would be whatever campaign you're running. So if you're running like a Easter campaign, you could call it Easter or something to that effect. And then term is usually like the ad or the post that you've made. So maybe it's like ad one or the date that you made the post or something to that effect. So you can track to the detail uh, what that link is for and then it can pass that information into like Google Analytics or other tracking tools and you can track an array of stats. So really cool, helpful stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to create a link. So you hit this create a link button and there's also a plugin somewhere. I got it up here somewhere uh, that you could just, from whatever page you're on, you could go ahead and click it and generate a link. But I'll come into the website and do create a link. And then what we wanna do is enter our destination URL. Now what Pixelme is very good for is sharing third party links. So links to other websites other than your own, because if you're sending people to your own website, you can track those people with your own pixels and everything because you already have your own pixels on your website. But if you're sending somebody to another third party website, like an affiliate link or uh, just a link you wanna share with your audience, uh, but you wanna track those people, you wanna put them on retargeting lists or remarketing lists, you can do that with Pixelme, which is what makes it really powerful. So for this example, let's say that I want to go ahead and create an affiliate link or a pixel me, a shortened link for my active campaign affiliate link. So I'm gonna post that on Facebook and I wanna go ahead and track those, those clicks and create a custom audience with those people and things of that nature. So I go ahead and plug in my affiliate link. Then we got the UTM parameters. And again, this lets you get real granule and your data tracking, so you can track exactly what this link is for. So for source, let's say I'm posting on Facebook, so I'll just do Facebook, Facebook. And then we got medium, and we'll just say this is social. And then we got our campaign, so this will be a, let's just say a wall post. And then term, so this is, typically like the ad, so this will be like an active campaign. 
and then UTM content, maybe the date that I posted it. So 13 April, 2019, something like that. So you can figure out what categories you wanna go ahead and structure your UTM parameters. Uh, there's, I'll try and link to some articles on best ways to do that down below, but that's just kind of the concept, right? So all your social media links would have this uh, medium. Uh, all your Facebook links would have this source, so Facebook. All your wall posts would have this campaign and so on. So that we could you know, break down the different categories of these different clicks. All right, so moving on to the retargeting pixel, and this is where it's really powerful and where it really shines. So this is where you can basically track people that click on links to third-party websites. So we've got you know, our affiliate link to Active Campaign, and of course, Active Campaign is not gonna let us install our Facebook tracking pixel on activecampaign.com. Uh, they don't want you tracking what's going on on their website. However, with Pixel.me, you can track people that click on your uh, pixel me shorten links so we can go ahead and assign different retargeting pixels to that link so like right now i have my google adwords pixel added i have google analytics added i also have my facebook pixel added so let me go ahead and actually click all three of these and activate those pixels and we'll come over to facebook and i'll show you what that means in just a second here uh, but there's also other accounts let me pop this up so you can also add pixels for Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, Google Tag Manager, Bing, Quora, Pinterest, and Nexus segment. And they've added, if they, they add them kind of regularly, so there might be more pixels you could go ahead and add, uh, but it's real easy. You just select the tool, name your pixel, and then your pixel ID, and then you can go ahead and select it from the drop-down menu. And again, this is for creating those ads or those, uh, retargeting audiences and hold on it looks like my up oh, there it is uh, that it disappeared so I selected all three pixels I want to be able to track across these three tools AdWords analytics and Facebook I want to be able to track who's clicking these ads or these links this link all right and then we have our shortener and we can go ahead and we can have a custom domain like I have cem.2 so that's my custom shortened domain you could also use the pixel me dot me domain or you could connect another one. Now, one thing that's kind of lame about these custom domains is they don't have HTTPS. They're not SSL secure at this time. So that's kind of one thing that I'm hoping it's a feature that they add soon. So that way your shortened links are secured, right? That, that'd be beneficial. But right now it's all HTTP colon slash slash and then your link. So if you don't know what I'm saying, uh, you'll see it in just a second. So I got my shortened link. I'm gonna use my custom domain. Uh, if GDPR is important to you, like the European Union, I think, you need GDPR, um, you could go ahead and set that up with settings and tick, tick that box if that's something you need to do. You can also go ahead and organize your links. Like I showed you, I don't have any folders. All my links are just stuck right in my dashboard. But if you wanna be more organized than me, you can go ahead and have folders, subfolders, and tags, which would probably be a smart idea. Like you probably want a folder for Facebook and then a subfolder for, I don't know, uh, either your campaign or your term. So all your active campaign links are in one area or all your wall post links are in one area or however you want to sort it, right? And then tags are just another level that you can go ahead and organize your links. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and save our link. Now I got this link here. Uh, so I could go ahead and copy the link or I could get a little, whatever this thing is called, uh, the little scan barcode thing. I could go ahead and look at the stats of the link. Uh, there's no stats obviously right now because I just built it, but I'll click on a link in just a second here that has more info. I could edit the link. So if I'm like, oh shoot, I should have you know, done something else with the term or the content or whatever, I could go ahead and change that. Uh, you could also change this to something custom like AC demo or something like that so that way you have a nice pretty shortened link so that's pretty cool and yeah so pretty self-explanatory editing options um let's see i could clone it or i could delete it all right so i realized i left out one of the most important parts which was the retargeting part so here we are cutting this in as i was editing the video so we have our link here and what we can do with this link now is create a retargeting audience 
uh, with this link. Even though we're sending people to a third-party website, we're sending people to an affiliate link over to Active Campaign. Hopefully they go buy that. Uh, but we can still create that retargeting audience and then we can put ads in front of them trying to push them over to Active Campaign. And this lets us create a custom audience, a list of people that are interested in Active Campaign and that we can control even though we're sending them to a third-party website. So they don't need to come to our website first in order to be pixeled, we can pixel them right here. So that is the power of pixel me. All right, so we have our link, which is cem.2 slash AC demo. So we could come over to our Facebook ads manager and we can go to our assets library and our audiences area, which is where I am currently. Then we go to create an audience, custom audience, and we can go to website traffic and select the appropriate pixel and select people who visited specific web pages. And we can say in the last seven days, they visited cem.2 slash AC demo. So this audience right now will include everybody that visited our active campaign affiliate link, right? That's pretty, pretty awesome stuff. So visited active campaign affiliate link seven days. All right, awesome, create audience. And then of course we could use this audience to create the retargeting advertisements. Now I'm not gonna go into how to create a retargeting ad right here. I'll have another video to that link to down below. So if you need help setting up retargeting ads, you can follow that, that instruction or that video. Um, but yeah, so that's what makes PixelMe very, very powerful is you can create custom audiences even though you're sending people to third party websites. And you can do something similar within Google Ads and Twitter and Pinterest as well to set up those audiences and create retargeting ads. Now let's go look at some stats of a link that's got some clicks on it. So here, click on this one and let's check out the stats over here. So this is what the stats look like. Let me do the last 90 days. So we got some data. So you can kind of track how these clicks are doing. And this is an affiliate link to the One Funnel Away program that ClickFunnels offers. So I can kind of see how those uh, clicks are coming through. So you got you know countries, Looks like predominantly United States. Top refer referrers. I got a YouTube unknown and YouTube. So I got a YouTube video on there about the tool or the, the program. So that's where most of the traffic is coming from on this particular link. Uh, the browsers, uh, operating systems, and so on. So just some regular type of data you'd expect to see. But uh, again, the thing is, this is to an affiliate link. So uh, of course you can get this type of data with traffic on your own website very easily because again, you control your website and you can install whatever pixels you want on your website and track it however you want. Uh, but with like an affiliate link like this, like it's hard to get this type of data unless you're using a tool like PixelMe. So you can get a lot more data and stats and uh, really help you optimize your campaigns. So that's what the stats look like. Let me come back to this dashboard and see if there's anything else to point out real quick. Uh, no, I think it's all pretty self-explanatory and I don't want to go into too much detail because we could be here for 10 hours. Uh, so that's the dashboard. Uh, you can change the dates and do some other things in here uh, if you need to. Now moving on here to conversions. And again, this is a brand new feature. It's in beta mode. I literally just set it up on my website and trying to test it out and track it. Uh, but it looks pretty cool. We can see the bunch of referrers, so who's clicking on the links or where the traffic's coming from, uh, the UTM parameters, so we could track that. Let me actually go back to my link here and let's copy it and let's visit it real quick. You see demo link, all right, cool. Now let's come back over here and see what, uh, if anything updated, conversions, UTMs, let me refresh. All right, probably nothing yet because there that, that makes sense. There there wasn't a conversion from that event, right? So I would need to go ahead and set that up. Uh, but assuming that's set up, we could go ahead and track those conversions. Um, like here's a conversion right here. So anyway, yeah, this is a new feature. I have not messed with it a whole lot, but it's good to see that they're working on letting you track those conversions. Very helpful for optimizing your advertising efforts, right? Analytics, we just took a look at, but here's like, I guess my whole account status. So here we go. Here's my links that are doing the best, countries, all that type of stuff. 
and information. Um, yep, uh, settings, let's go through here real quick. So here's the pixels where you could add more additional pixels. Custom domain, so you could go ahead and set that up. There's my CEM.2 link and you know, 404 page and index page. Tracking code, so this is how you can track conversions. So just like this right here. Team members, if you have any other team members you wanna go ahead and add, you can do that. Integrations, so you can integrate with a few different tools like Buffer and there's some other ones uh, that you can integrate via API. And uh, it's more advanced, obviously. So we'll move on to GDPR, GDPR settings. So again, this is for European Union countries. If you need this, you can go ahead and set that up. And then your profile settings, so you can you know, keep track of everything and uh, get reports and stuff like that. All right, then we got billing, so you could go ahead and configure that. And then we got the FAQ down here, which brings us to the help section, which I already pointed out to you. And again, this is actually a very good help section. They have a lot of articles that go into a lot of detail on how to use the different features of PixelMe. So uh, I know I went very quickly through here. I just wanted to give you like a quick tour uh, demo of like the back end. Again, there is that seven day free trial. So you can go play with it yourself and test it out and see how it works and see if it can help you improve your marketing efforts. And yeah, so this is Pixel Me. Hopefully this little demo was helpful and uh, yeah, catch you on the other side.